Hi, so let's work out a problem on a return risk calculation using Markowitz model. So this is a question. Stocks of X limited and Y limited have yielded the following returns for the past two years. For the year 2018, stock X is given a return of 12% and 2019 it's given a return of 18%. And stock Y has given a return of 14% for the year 2018 and 12% for the year 2019. So using this following information, you're required to first calculate the expected return on a portfolio made up of 60% of X and 40% of Y. Then find out the standard deviation of each stock. Then what is the covariance and coefficient of correlation between stock X and Y? And then what is the risk of the portfolio made up of 60% of X and 40% of Y? So before we move ahead, I want you all to take out a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen and start working on the problem along with me. So before we begin, I want you to take down the formulas. So the first formula is to calculate the return of individual security, that is the average return. X bar is equal to summation X by N. Then return on the portfolio, which is equal to weight of security A in the portfolio multiplied by return of security A plus weight of security B in the portfolio multiplied by the return of security B. So in our form, in our uh, problem, it is security X and Y. Next is to calculate the standard deviation. That is square root of summation X minus X bar the whole square divided by N. So X minus X bar is denoted as small x here. Next is to calculate the covariance. Covariance of X and Y is equal to summation small x Y divided by N. Remember it's small x and Y. And next is to calculate the covariance correlation coefficient, which is R. So R is equal to covariance of x, y divided by standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y. And then the last formula is to calculate the standard deviation of the portfolio. This is slightly complicated. So that is square root of weight square of weight here refers to the weight of the stock x in the portfolio. The whole square multiplied by variance of stock x plus weight of stock y in the portfolio the whole square multiplied by variance of stock y plus 2 into weight of stock x in the portfolio multiplied by the stock y in the portfolio into the correlation coefficient of stock x and y multiplied by standard deviation of stock x and standard deviation of stock y. So that's all for the formula. Let's go ahead and calculate the uh, solve the problem using Microsoft Excel. And remember, I am not going to use any inbuilt uh, MS Excel functions, I am going to solve it the way just how we are going to solve it in a piece of paper so that you can solve it along with me and it becomes easier for you to follow. So let's begin. So first, let's calculate the individual return of securities X and Y. So RI is equal to sum of 12 plus 18 divided by 2. Again, 14 plus 12 divided by 2. So I'm taking sum of 14 and 12 divided by 2. So the expected return of security X is 15 and expected return of security Y is 13. Let's calculate the expected return of the portfolio made up of 60% of X and 40% of Y, which is equal to 15 into 60%, that is 60 by 100. Plus... 13 into 40 by 100. So the expected return of portfolio is 14.2%. Now let's calculate the standard deviation of each stock. So to calculate standard deviation of each stock, we have to find out small x, that is x minus x bar and small y which is y minus y bar. So x minus x bar 12 minus 15 gives you minus 3 18 minus 15 gives you 3. Now small y is equal to y minus y bar 14 minus 13 is equal to 1 and 12 minus 13 is equal to minus 1. Now, let's calculate x square and y square. And 
and then xy. This will help us for covariance calculation. So x square is minus 3 into minus 3. Nine. Again, three into three is nine. So y square is one into one is one. Minus one into minus one is also one. Now let's calculate x y. That is minus three into one is minus three. Then 3 into minus 1 is again minus 3. Now let's take the sum of xy. Minus 3. Sum of minus 3 and minus 3 will give you minus 6. And then sum of x square is 9 plus 9 is 18. And then y square 1 plus 1 is 2. So now let's calculate the standard deviation that is square root of summation x minus x bar the whole square that is 18 divided by n that is 2. So the standard deviation of stock x is 3. Now let's calculate the standard deviation of stock y that is square root of summation y minus y bar the whole square divided by n that is 2 divided by 2. So standard deviation of stock y is 1. Now let's calculate the covariance. So the formula to calculate covariance, covariance is summation xy small xy divided by n. So summation small xy is minus 6. Minus 6 divided by 2. That's minus 3. So covariance of stock x and y is minus 3. Then let's calculate correlation that is r. So the formula to calculate correlation is covariance of x and y that is minus 3 divided by standard deviation of x is 3 into standard deviation of y is 1. That will give you minus 1. So stock x and y is highly negatively correlated. That is a high degree of negative correlation between stock y and x. Now let's calculate the standard deviation of the portfolio. The formula is square root of the weight of stock x in the portfolio that is 60 percent so 60 divided by 100 is 0 0.6 0 0.6 into 0 0.6 is 0 0.36 multiplied by standard deviation square that is 3 into 3 is 9 plus weight of stock b in the portfolio is 40 percent so 40 by 100 is 0 0.4 0 0.4 into 0 0.4 is 0 0.16 so 0 0.16 into standard deviation square, standard deviation of stock y is 1, 1 into 1 is 1. Plus 2 into weight of stock x is 0 0.6, 0 0.6 multiplied by stock y is 0 0.4 into the correlation coefficient is minus 3 multiplied by standard deviation of stock x is 3 and stock y is 1. So minus, sorry, correlation coefficient is minus 1. So minus 1 into 3 into 1 is minus 3. So the standard deviation of the portfolio is 1.4. Hope you've got it. So that's all. We're done with the problem. Thank you.